Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here as the Young Dolph continues. Y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, this is dealing with your boy Yo Gotti. How he hopped on the plane and how CMG Jackpot, the feds captured him. All based around the Rico that's coming down on CMG at this moment. Feel what I'm saying? Because some people know that it's all tied back to Young Dolph getting sent up. As always, let's pay our respects and say rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to the family. Shout out to the Paper Route Empire. And much love to all my folks in Dolph land. Let's get back to the story at hand. So yeah, if y'all heard the news a couple days ago, how CMG, k Dog, aka Big Capo, was shot and killed a couple days ago. And his brother, the feds captured his brother, Jackpot, CMG Jackpot, just this morning. Or should I say last night, it's between one of those. I know I got news of it. And I said, I knew it. Again, a lot of people knew. Hey, when you look at one thing, the feds know that when you step out, as soon as you step out your house, they're recording you. As soon as you pick up that device, they're recording. You got to understand, man, the tower's picking up everything that the whole CMG. That, again, this, the Rico coming down on some guys that's associated a tie into CMG. You know what I'm saying? And again, because the people know that it's some crazy, it's a lot of moving pieces, first of all. And not only that, not only that, check this out. See, a lot of people think that the Rico is only guys that's in the streets. Nah, man, it's more than that. That's what I was going to get to. See, the Rico is dealing with more both sides. Guys in the streets and guys you know what I'm saying? Up that ladder. You know what I'm saying? That got that bag. That real bag. If y'all feel what I'm saying. So, what's happening is, again, like we said, because this is a big chess play, dealing with Young Dolph getting sent up. Because, again, we know that he knew guys in the street that was had a little jealousy and envy of him. And not only that, it was, again, guys that's, you know, again, with them suits on. You know what I'm saying? That's up that ladder that really got that bag, like I told you guys. That's they connecting both of them. You know what I'm saying? So this is the reason why, even with the whole shooting that happened a couple days ago with the three people, you know what I'm saying, getting sent up and uh what's the name? Um uh K Dog, uh, aka Big Capo, he was uh one of them guys that was sent up and again his brother, you know what I'm saying, CMG Jackpot. You know what I'm saying? They actually called him Jack Boy. He was actually tied in as well. So the feds captured him. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, people know that a few things are going to be said, man. Y'all just be patient. I'm telling y'all, man, we've been telling y'all for a minute that we knew it was, it was going to come to this. Because, again, this this is the time that a lot of people start getting weary. And they start, like, fumbling over themselves as far as, like, making... um. They moves are not being strategic no more. It's rushed. And we know that um, a lot of, uh, like, CMG, they, like, they shows, like, we got Young Dolph supporters, you know what I'm saying, that's already at the shows that really ain't got no love, you know what I'm saying, for CMG. You feel what I'm saying? So, and not only that, like I just told y'all, man, your boy, Yo Gotti, right, he got a tour. He got a CMG tour. And at the same time, he's hopping on the plane, Again, CMG jackpot, you know what I'm saying, the feds captured him, and they about to bring him in and, you know what I'm saying, see what's going on on that side. You feel what I'm saying? And see why, again, was his brother just sent up, you know what I'm saying? Come on, y'all. Again, because this all ties back to somebody is so-called sending a message, you know what I'm saying? Because we know how it go on the streets. That's the reason why if you really in the streets, you got to know, you got to be prepared what's coming. And you really have to prepare for what's coming and stop playing out here. See, a lot of people think it's a joke. A lot of people think it's cool, you know what I'm saying, of what they see on TV. But the thing is, what you see on TV, like, 
it's not real because a lot of that stuff they, they not telling you, telling you behind the scenes of a lot of stuff goes down before y'all before y'all see them like popping bottles and doing all that right before y'all see them you know what i'm saying buying chains and all that right it's a lot of stuff that go on behind the scenes that a lot of people are, are very unaware of you know what i'm saying until they end up being part of inheriting somebody beef and don't even understand the beef that they inherited it had nothing to do with them from the beginning and not only that they unfamiliar to it so they really gonna be confused about what's, what's really going on out there y'all feel me hey when you look at one thing the feds know that when you step out as soon as you step out your house they're recording you as soon as you Pick up that device. They recording. You gotta understand, man. The tower is picking up everything that the whole CMG has going on, man. And when you look at it, Makita's relocated for one reason because 901 Trigger Trey, he was the main one involved in the whole front incident. Y'all gotta look at the fact of how Makita's is like. Once you go in, once you make that left, then you make that right. Those are the bathrooms, and if you really pay attention to it, this is the door that everybody came out of, and CMG Jackpot, he was at the scene of Makita's. He is 901's Trigger Trace blood cousin. And y'all got to understand the connections that's going on here, man. So that's the reason why, man, especially out there in Memphis, really all around, man, it's, really, it's a lot of stuff going down, man. Like fam said, Hey, man, when the people watching you, when they on you, man, like, there's really no getting away, man. They got they got their scope on you. So that's the reason why y'all be seeing a lot of guys, like, making moves, like, real quickly, like, abruptly, you know what I'm saying, trying to get out the way. Like, you know, CMG, of course, they're going to go on tour at this time because, like, it's things that's happening that, you know, they don't want to be attached to, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, people just got to pay attention again what's going on out here, man. You got your boy again, CMG. Uh, CMG, you know what I'm saying, Big Capo, you know what I'm saying, dealing with his brother, you know what I'm saying, Jackpot, it's just a lot going on, you know what I'm saying, and hey, that was one of uh, Yo Gotti's homeboys, so he really ain't um, trying to like uh, be paying attention to that side as far as like, he know what's going on, but he still got to focus on the business is what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, that's the reason why he's like, it's best to go on tour at this time, rather than sit back and lose the money, might as well make money, and you know what I'm saying, and put the other guys on, you know what I'm saying? So once you really pay attention to it, the key evidence in the eyewitness statements states in the affidavit that 901 Trigger Trey was the one who sent the message to Makita's and Raven was the one that literally she went to the side and called Moneybag Yo and told him pull up you can wait outside and this is coming from the receipts you guys the receipts is on the floor you guys like we see the receipts and we all know for one simple fact that black youngster he know that by him even being at the scene that the feds have him they have him captured on camera being like literally you, you guys gotta really pay attention to it it was too many people involved in what's going on and this is something that we all need to open our eyes and realize that daddy O, he played a big part in it he has a cmg chain in a pre chain why does he have a cre chain cm why does he have a pre chain and why does he have a cmg chain you tell me that, like, at the end of the day, we all know that everyone got their own opinion on what's going on, but ain't nobody really in Memphis and literally lives in Memphis like Street Block. Like, y'all really got to understand that this is something that the receipts come through. Like, the receipts come and we give you guys the receipts. The receipts, if we don't know what's on the receipts, you guys would not even be able to know what's going on in Memphis because the news only tell you so much and just like typical street guys they're going to be in the streets and when they report on something they're reporting and let you guys know that okay this happened I know a lot of people have their own different opinions on what's going on but you guys got to understand that when the feds come through and they literally 
be booking everybody that's standing out there. You got to understand, they speak upon this. They say out their mouth, yeah, you heard what happened to what's her name. You know what I'm saying? Hey, as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.